Hey guys, that's Nancy iPhone guy here with you today, and this is my final thoughts and my kind of my final review, I guess, on the iPhone OS 3.0 for iPhone 3G. Now this is the 3.0 software, which will be available summer. Um, is what Apple says. People are hitting it more on the target with June or July. We'll see when it comes out, but this is uh, beta 1.0, and it's definitely beta. It's really quite buggy, if you ask me. Definitely not ready for prime time, but you know, here are my thoughts on it, and uh, I just want to do a little something before I downgrade. Now, um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, it, it's it's it has good intentions. It's just not well implemented yet, and uh, it's really, really not what you'd be expecting. All right, so we're going to enter my passcode in here. And here we go. We're on the main iPhone home screen. Now you can already notice that there are a few differences. Um, the main one is the SMS bubble, the messages bubble. Ah, dear. Stupid camera. Messages. Now that's a different SMS button. There's the phone and the iPod. All the uh, icons are a little bit spoofed up. They're a little bit fancier. You can see the lines in the background. But essentially, other than that, it's all the same. This is our home screen uh, normal functionality. You're, you're nine pages into your apps. Push the home button and you return to the main page. Great. You have your apps. Uh, you hold them down, they jiggle, you can delete them, and then all that good stuff. And uh, really the only new feature on the home screen that you can see other than Spotlight, which we'll show you in a minute, is Voice Memos. Now Voice Memos is an app uh, by Apple, and I'm, I've always kind of wondered since they announced this, why did they implement this? Because what happens to the iPhone developer who found a really cool way to put the apps onto your computer using a simple piece of application that you can download for your Mac? And uh, he goes and charges 99 cents for this voice recorder. What happens to him now? There's one included on the iPhone. So I just don't really see it. It kind of destroys the market for that kind of thing. So I don't, I don't really think that's fair. But oh, well, So we're going to start recording. And it's recording now. We can go to the home screen if we want, do other stuff, multitask. We can't record phone calls. When we do go to start a phone call, it actually just ends the recording, which is kind of lame because for podcasts, for interviews, it's really nice to have that. Anyway, so we're going to stop recording, and we push play, and it shows us all our recordings. So here we go. We push the play button. So there you go. Uh, it's showing me what's going on. You can push done. You can then, oops, sorry, not done. You can uh, then push this arrow and uh, further classify your clip. You can uh, trim it and uh, so you can shorten the length. You can cut parts out. You can almost edit it. And then you can label it. Uh, this was a podcast, a lecture. And then last but certainly not least, you can share via MMS or uh, email voice memo. So it just goes and it sends out as a voice memo. It's really just a little MP3 that's attached. M4A is what they call it. And uh, iPhones can't actually play it yet because it's not uh, readable by the iPhone yet, but it will be uh, in the further iPhone 3.0 OS future. Now, this is another big feature. You swipe left. Whoa, what is this? This is new. This allows you to search your iPhone for virtually anything. Contacts, email, applications. Very, very cool. Uh, that's one of the reasons I jailbroke was for quick gold, and that's one of the reasons I've had a hard time coming back. All you can do is you can swipe that way, or from any point in the screen, you push the home button. Once you're on the main page, you push the home button again, and you jump into Spotlight. Now, Spotlight, uh, let's say I want to search for an email about the iPower external battery. Simply, I type in IPW or the, the priest. I can't even think of a word, or what I want, and there you go. So YouTube service comment posted on iPower external battery, and there is the actual email from the uh, the CEO of the company who sent me the battery. All right, now uh, let's go back into this. It doesn't delete once you're done, which I wish it would do an auto-delete feature, but it doesn't. And uh, you can also search for songs on uh, movies, so Illusionist, a Magic DVD I like. Uh, there you go, Crash Course, it starts playing. It also searches your contacts, so I want to search, let's say, 
I don't know. Parisa bat is out again. And while there's several contacts with PAR in it, there they are. And I can then select and it jumps to their contact on the page. I can search for apps. So let's say I want, uh, I gotta think of an app I actually have on here, Let's Golf. So I'll type golf. And there you go, click it and the app launches. So very nice features that Spotlight carries. It's very well polished and uh, it can only get better. So uh, you can also just escape Spotlight by pushing home and you jump back here. All right, so the phone setting, the phone application is a little bit changed. Uh, contacts, still the same. There's the search, there's your contacts right there. And uh, then you can push recents and I, it shows numbers here, so I gotta hide it. So there you go. Uh, there's some of my recent phone calls. I'm gonna go to this one from Marcus Autofreddy. There were two uh, instances and I gotta hide his number once again if I can. And there we go. Okay, so uh, there's the incoming calls and the outgoing calls. It shows you the time of the call, the length of the call, the date. Uh, you can then share that contact via email or multimedia messaging again. So we can send for email, let's say, and it sends the V card of that contact. There it is, Marcus Onofredi VCF. Cool. All right, so uh, other than that, though, your phone is pretty much the same. Uh, virtual voicemail is the same, again, and uh, there you go. Now, mail is uh, slightly different. Uh, you come here and you see all your accounts, right? That's the same. Okay, we're going to load TSIG Quinn. And uh, there you go. So we check this email now. They have added two if the email is addressed to you or if uh, you're a CC or a BC, whatever. And uh, there you go. Thank you for signing up, Metro Music Video. That's my other channel. Don't really have any videos up there except for the Lady Gaga video, which is blocked because it's copyright reasons. Anyway, I thought I could get away around it. I'll figure it out. And uh, you can, everything's pretty much the same. Forward, delete, folder it, refresh, write a new email, go up and down emails. And uh, there we go. Now, one thing we will we'll be looking at is this. That's right, it's sideways, and uh, there is now landscape email. Right now, it's really glitchy. It doesn't center it right. It looks kind of goofy. But you can type emails as well. This is a response. If I can type on my phone, to you, to. And uh, predictive text is still the same. There's no fancy, it's just, uh, if you type YouTube, it doesn't fix it. But, uh, so there you go, don't save. And uh, you can then file through all your mail that way. Nice little feature. Sweet. Okay, so now we're moving on to Safari. Uh, pretty much the only thing that's changed here is this little bar down at the bottom is now transparent once the page is fully loaded. And, well, it's not transparent, it's fully trans, it's partially transparent, let me say that. And uh, so that's kind of neat, kind of fun. Uh, Google's still the same, everything else is still the same here in Safari, so nothing special to talk about. Now, messages. Gotta delete any here. Alright, so uh, this is a fun little, uh, fun little conversation I had. Uh, it was a funny joke. You wouldn't understand, so don't worry about it. Anyway, so uh, you can edit the conversation. Now, this is cool. You can select messages that you want deleted, or you can forward them to someone else. So we're just going to delete them. There we go. Now, if you decide to forward it to someone, uh, you push forward. Oh, I showed you copy and paste too early, darn it. And uh, it forwards to a new message, and then you address to who it is for, and then there you go. Everyone's good and happy. All right, now, uh, so what else is new? What else is cool in uh, this? Well, once again, turn it sideways, and you have landscape messaging, and you can type sideways. Again, huge, cool feature. 